Welcome, welcome. Hi. Yeah, greetings. We're talking Peace. about foot pain. Right. I am to interrupt the Bob. What, what were you going to say? Go uh, for it. Okay, if you have pain in your foot right where this green dot is or in this area, we've got some really useful, helpful tips that's going to help you clear it out. We're going to show you how to get rid of it. How to get rid of it. Bob and Brad, Brad the two, two most famous. We got a better version of that coming up. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. All right, so we're going to talk about Morton's neuroma, right. foot pain in this area. I, I'm really interested in this, Bob, because I have Morton's neuroma have, right, right there. So it can also occur right here, right? Closer to the yeah, big right, toe. Right. But it's on the bottom of the foot. It happens with weight bearing. When you walk, there is a nerve bundle in that area. And what's happening, the nerve bundle is getting thickened. Thickened. Um, and it gets pressure on right. it as a result. And it becomes... Causes pain, uh, numbness, numbness, stinging, uh -huh. or it feels like something's in your shoe. Right, right? like right. you got a rock in there. Or your sock is folded up. Yep. And I'm telling you, it can get very painful. It's yeah, it'll not stop fun. you from walking. Yep. But the good news is, is there's some easy ways to correct it, and you don't have to go and buy a bunch of medication. If you're willing to. <laughs> All right, the first thing is, and before we go no farther, we got this information from a, a doctor who specializes right. in getting rid of Dr. this pain. Dr. McClanahan. Dr. McClanahan, yeah, it's, it's right. a mouthful. Um, he, he actually lives in Oregon. Right. And uh, he has a clinic th that he right. works with people. Very knowledgeable. Yep. So his biggest thing that he will not work with patients uh, if they're not willing I to change your shoe wear. Right. There's three aspects of footwear that must be changed because these uh, mechanical or physical shapes are really irritating and making the problem that worse. between three and four. Right. Or two and three. So what, the first aspect, should we talk about the heel? Heel, right. So we got he, two shoes here. Go ahead, Bob. The heel causes the foot to slide down. Right. So if you have an elevated heel is higher than the forefoot, you get a downhill slant, and your foot has a tendency to slide forward. And that's very obvious if you wear high heels. Right. That's extreme. But even a regular running or walking shoe, uh, what you need is... You like, look at the heel on that. Yeah. And yeah. this is not even... They're much bigger than this right. other shoes. This is a zero-drop shoe. Mm. In other words... Minimalist. The, yep, the heel height and the toe height of the sole are the same. Oh, the absolute same. That's how it's a zero drop. It's a minimalist, so there is not much there. Right. Um, so that whole idea good of flexibility support is not right. always good. So the heel here, much smaller here. Get rid of the heel. Yep. So we got to get rid of the heel. All so right. much for that. Number two, the toe box, right? Yeah, the toe box. So we're talking Look about the forefoot. The, 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 your foot fits into that's the toe box. Cell that narrows up. Yeah, so we got a pointy toe, toe box here, and this type of shoe has got a wide. It's wider here where your uh, MTP joints are. That's also your, wider up here. Yep, and it does not come to this point. It kind of wraps right. around, and this is the natural. Uh, curvature, shape of the foot, shape right. of the foot, so your foot fits in there without being. And your toes fit in there. Yeah, your toes can wiggle, and when you wear these, you can feel the difference. Your your toes have room to breathe, right. room to move, so to speak. Now the third thing is the toe spring. Ah, this is intre I, This is one thing I have oh, not I heard do, of right. until Dr. McClellan brought it up, and that is if you look at this arch of the toe, you see the, the gap here, how your toe goes up, and this is actually more level or flat to right. the ground, and it's very easy to flatten out. Right. This, there's actually resistance. Right. That causes stress on, on the nerve. Their, on the nerve. Right. It stresses the nerve. Right. So when you work with him, Dr. McClellan, he says... Get rid of those right. three things. Get rid of this. It's for fashion. Yep, it's all fashion, and it's not helping. Uh, so it's an issue because people spend big dollars on shoes that right. look good and supposedly are healthy for your feet, but they're not. So let's talk about the last thing you try, Ben. Okay. Oh. Um, 
Toast spreaders. Toast spreaders. We'll, we'll be back in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've already bought the correct shoes. We got the wide toe box, etc. There's one more thing that can be helpful, particularly if you notice your toes are starting to overlap with each right. other. Squeeze which, together. Which I'm having this toe and this toe are starting to overlap which happens to be in the same area where I have in the pain. Right, not surprised. <laughs> it all makes sense. Yeah. So this is what, this is a toe spreader that can be used. It's called Correct Toes. CorrectToes.com is where you get them through Dr. McClellan's site. Right. They're good quality. They're going to last a long time. And these are actually made for walking or running. You can wear them. Yeah, there oh. are toe spreaders that, They'll spread your toes, but they're, you can see they look very big. We actually yeah. have a pair back there. Yoga toes? Yeah, but you cannot walk or run with those with your shoe on. Right. And you can see they're just too big and clumsy. You did a uh, tremulous, right, Ben? Yes. So when you put these on, uh, you need to, you'll feel there will be like, oh, it kind of hurts. Mine hurt on my big toe. So you, you take wherever it hurts, and you take a pair of scissors, and you trim it. So you custom trim it. Once you do it once, you're done. You don't have to do it again. Um, you can see how it looks on my toes. It's they keep the toes spread. Yep. Toes spread. That's how it looks on the bottom. That's how it looks on the top. They're low profile. So, again, you can wear them in your so shoes. So how's your nerve doing? My nerve, it's doing pretty good. You know, there's certain times that uh, I got to be honest with you, with my zero drop shoes in the front, I have to get zero drop shoes that have a little more cushion. Right. Just because my Morton's Neuroma. Makes sense. Yeah. And there's some shoes that I have that dress shoes. Yeah. If they got leather Don't shoes. Work. Well, yeah. Right. That's just a problem. You have to put up with it. But yeah, there we go. There's the toe spreaders. They, they work very nice. Get rid of Morton's Neuroma. Yep. That Morton's Neuroma is an issue. Good luck with Say it. Say goodbye. And it's going to be helpful.